The epicyclic gear train is an interesting invention of mechanical engineering. This is called a planetary gear set as well. Most of the auto gear transmission of automobiles consist of several epicyclic gear trains. Machines that need significantly high gear ratios are also equipped with these gear systems. For example, the final rise of excavators. Let's consider a normal gear mesh. Here there are two gear wheels. One of them is driver gear, other one is driven gear. This driver gear is given an external torque and rotated. The driven gear is rotated by the rotation of the driver gear. This gear mesh is very simple. There is one input and one output. And the gear ratio is a fixed value. The gear ratio depends on the ratio between number of teeth of both gears. But epicyclic gear train is more complex than this. The epicyclic gear train consists of sun gear, ring gear and a planetary gear set. There are two inputs for this gear train and the gear ratio depends on the angular velocities of the inputs. As an example, let's consider planet carrier as the output. Then the two inputs are the ring gear and the sun gear. When one gear becomes the output, other two become the inputs. In the previous example, the direction and the magnitude of the angular velocity of the planet carrier depends on the direction and the magnitude of the angular velocity of the ring gear and sun gear. The speciality of this mechanism is the rotating direction of the output not only depends on the rotating direction of the inputs but also the magnitude of the angular velocities of the inputs. Another speciality is the input and output shaft are arranged in a coaxial arrangement. This arrangement is useful for machine designing and we can obtain unlimited gear ratios from an epicyclic gear train. This is the relationship between number of teeth of gears and the angular velocities of each gear in an epicyclic gear train. NR is the number of teeth of ring gear. NS is the number of teeth of sun gear. Omega S is the angular velocity of sun gear. Omega C is the angular velocity of planet carrier. Omega R is the angular velocity of ring gear. The inventor of the epicyclic gear train is Ibn Khalaf al Muradi, who made it in the 11th century AD. This is a reinvention. It is said to be this epicyclic idea that was found by the Greeks in 500 BC. Antikythera mechanism, which was created in 80 BC, consisted of epicyclic gear trains. So, let's meet again with another science and technology video.